I'm Isaiah Jordan and I'm from Dallas, Texas, a student at DeSoto High School. I'm in 11th grade. Right now we're raising awareness about building schools in Liberia because 62% of the ch children population have never set, set foot in a school. But for me, it's to give back to the community and mainly to remember what my roots are and where I came from and to help them. I think you should stay aware of what's going on around the world and to try to help others always because it can not do anything bad. Uh, always try to join clubs and get involved in different things. I think you should think really deeper into it about other people and how sometimes they only have a bike to go to school and that can be 50 miles away and how some kids don't even have shoes to wear while you're worrying about if you can get the newest shoes. My name is Octavia Clay and I'm from Dallas, Texas. Well, we're trying to build a school in Liberia for those kids who've never even seen a classroom before. Because I feel like if I have a school to go to and learn, I think other kids should too. I don't really think it matters where, but I feel like that every kid should have the opportunity to learn something. I do, I do have a job. And I would mind putting as much money as it takes into this organization. Yes, I would love to go over to Liberia and see the school and see the kids. I would say get involved and find out what's going on in our world, because there is a lot going on and a lot of things that need to be fixed. So I would just say just get involved and do everything that you can to try to change the world. I feel like, you know, it can be done because it is possible and it can be done. So I'm ready for it. Well, just always remember to be involved and do as much as you can. It's an amazing experience. I think, you know, just us coming together, wanting to break the cycle of poverty, break the cycle of misguided education and also give people around the world a different sense of opportunity. I think it's amazing. Well, I think because for us to have free African-American slaves to construct a country and call it Liberia, which is the root of the word freedom, mm -hmm. is as a liberty, yeah. I think it's interesting that they don't have that freedom to have greater education. They don't have the freedom to have the opportunities that we have here. So I think it's our duty, mm -hmm. not just as American people, but as a melanated people, to help our brothers and sisters in the different parts of the world with their needs and their wants. You're both in the systematical cage that America puts you in. America makes you feel like this is the only bubble of people that you know that you can relate to. We have a whole continent that is bigger than the land mass of America, of people that look like you, talk like you, and speak and want to love you, that we have to be able to accept and cherish as a people, as a race, and as a culture. And so we need to cultivate, just as we cultivate our children in the inner city communities, we need to cultivate our children in Liberia and different countries across the world. But I don't have that. I don't have the necessities that a millionaire would or that a working man in the work sector would, but I have a heart to change and taking advantage of the opportunities that we have. And we have someone that are dying People that are dying each and every day, ridiculed every day, going through turmoil every single day just to get the glimpse of the vision that we see as children every single day in the solo ISD and in this world. We need to be able to open up our eyes and as young African American men realize that we have people that are hurting. 62% of the children in the country of Liberia have never stepped foot into a room of education. That's the issue with me. That's a problem with me and that should be a problem with everybody that is, has melanin in their skin. These are your brothers and sisters that are dying at the hands of lack of knowledge and the lack of opportunity.